Now, the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee meets tomorrow and is widely expected to raise interest rates to their highest level in 13 years. The anticipated 0.25 percentage point increase will take the bank's base rate to 1%. That is the highest level since early 2009, when rates were being rapidly reduced in response to the global financial crisis. And this higher base rate expected from tomorrow pushes up all other borrowing costs, of course, across the economy. The bank's raised its base rate in each of the past three monthly meetings, with the Monetary Policy Committee, a group of nine economists, finally responding to higher inflation. But should rates be going up more? As the cost of living squeeze continues, rising prices are indeed driving headline inflation ever higher. In March, the Consumer Price Index was no less than 7% higher than the same month last year. So inflation is now three and a half times more than the bank's 2% target. Now, ordinarily, higher interest rates raising borrowing costs for firms and households would discourage spending and investment, slowing the increase in prices. But some would argue that today's price rises reflect not what's happening here in the UK, but what's happening elsewhere in the world. Conflict in Ukraine and related sanctions are certainly pushing up oil and gas prices everywhere, given Russia's status as a massive energy exporter. High UK interest rates won't help make energy less expensive on global markets. Similarly, both Russia and Ukraine are major producers of wheat and other crops, with this conflict also pushing up food prices across the globe. Again, higher interest rates in Britain won't rein in UK food price inflation. Traditionally, higher interest rates have curtailed UK consumer spending by raising the cost of servicing a mortgage, reining in inflation by cutting back how much money we spend each month in the shops. But most households with a mortgage these days are on a fixed rate, so for now at least, won't be affected. There are 8.8 million UK households with fixed rate home loans, but just 2.2 million on variable rates or tracker mortgages. That's just 8% of all UK households. So again, high UK interest rates are unlikely to slow down the housing market. But higher rates will certainly make life much tougher for cash-strapped households with personal loans in the middle of a cost-of-living crisis. And given where inflation is coming from, largely overseas, will higher rates help keep inflation in check? It's a really tough conundrum. But the outcome of this Monetary Policy Committee meeting tomorrow will impact everyone. And that's our On The Money question today. When the MPC meets tomorrow, should the Bank of England be raising interest rates?